What's up YouTube, Skiz1. So today what I'm going to be doing is not so much a tutorial but a video to kind of show you guys techniques and things I do to uh, help me achieve cleaner pieces in my uh, work and specifically canvases that I do and also things that I think will help you guys um, like your work a bit better and show you guys techniques that I use that I think will help you guys as well. So what I have is just a canvas here. I went ahead and did the background because I figured it's easy enough to tell you what I do. So normally I do the background after I do the piece and I use spray paint. But uh, I recently purchased, actually no, I didn't purchase them. I received them as a gift. But I got them, they're just regular acrylic paints. There's nothing at all special about them. Uh, they're from Deco Arts. They're not from the store specifically, but it's a brand name. And what I did was I just rubbed them on the canvas. Um, they're, I find them quite good. They blend well together. And... Uh, they cover everything you want to cover up and yeah you can see over here it's a bit more purple it's the same two colors blue and red but they're just mixed a bit more over here so I hope that looks good when it's finished um, but yeah that's usually how I do backgrounds and um, so uh, usually to start off a canvas, what I do is just pick an outline color, um, I use, uh, it's true blue, Molotow one for all markers, uh, small ones, 127 HS. So, what I do is just outline the piece, here it goes, just start it. So the outline's finished right now, and uh, yeah, you can see where I used white in the piece, just to get rid of stuff, be careful with that when you have the background already laid down. Um, you can do it if it's like close to a piece, close to the piece, because then you can, or inside the piece, because when it's inside you can just cover it up with your uh, fill in color and when it's close to the outside you can do like a background with it. So um, also I outlined it in, I don't know where the color is, but the color I used, it will be the color that I keep. You can either, uh, what I like to do sometimes is outline the piece in a piece that I, in a color that I'm not going to be able to see when I'm done and uh, fill it in, then realign it in the color I want it, that looks good with the fill in, or you can just realign it in the color that you originally outlined it in. Ugh, oh, gosh. So, um, now I'm gonna go ahead and fill it in. Um, it doesn't, the fill in doesn't have to be perfect at this point because, uh, You'll touch it up later. You just want a general outline. So it's your foundation of the piece. So uh, yeah, I'll get started on that. Alright, so I'm finished 
filling it in. Um, I just filled it in single color. Uh, so, yeah, sometimes, actually most of the time when people fill stuff in, they use more than one color, but since this is just uh, kind of showing it to you, uh, I kept it one color. So, now since I filled it in, some of the lines are very neat and I'm not too happy with the overall color of the outline. So, I'm gonna realign the whole thing in uh, this blue, it's a lot lighter of a blue. Here's the original outline color next to it. Um, yeah, so, I'll realign this quickly, and then we can start perfecting uh, the lines and making them neat, come to sharp edges, that type of thing. Alright, um, I changed my mind, left this uh, the same color, same blue, because my other blue was almost identical to that one. So if I wanted to add any kind of 3D that was the same color as the outline, it would have looked horrible. Yeah, color choice is extremely important. Um, so, now, uh, this next part should only take you a few minutes, it takes me, I just kind of quickly run through the piece in no particular way or manner, so all I really do is, I start, um, uh, what I do is, just kind of start making lines neater. Uh, if there's any little bits that are out of place, I fix them. This one's not too bad for that. There's not much I have to do on it. Um, you can see the white through. Uh, the red on a couple of the parts, so I'm just gonna cover that up. Uh, it's just kind of perfecting all the different things. And also, if you missed any lines that you wanna make neater, like I've found, you can do that as well. Um, yeah, this piece is actually pretty good. There's not much I really have to fix on it, so. Um, yeah. So after you've done all that, you should add 3D in my opinion. It's one of the uh, most important piece parts of a piece. It just gives it a lot more character and life. Um, so if you don't know how to make 3D, uh, I will show you. It can look really good if it's done right. 3D always looks good on pieces, in my opinion, unless it's done wrong. So, what you want to do for 3D is, for different types of 3D, you can either go, um, you gotta decide how deep you want your 3D to go as well. So, you have it, you can either do lines going all the way back to a certain point if you want to choose a certain point. Ah, you can even dot it off, have lines going all the way into it at edges and corners. 
to join all the lines into there. Or you can do the same thing, have it all go into the middle or a certain point, but have it kind of discontinue at a certain point like that and go down just to a certain point. I don't know how this is looking from upside down, but you get the general idea. Then I can do the same for this side. Okay, I can't work upside down, but um, yeah, then I can do that for the whole piece, which is what I'll continue to do, because I think this is the right type of piece for it. Um, and once you're done that, I usually leave the piece. You can add certain effects as well, but I'm usually done with the actual piece. After that, you can add light effects coming in. I'll have that in a separate tutorial. I might actually put this in two parts. I'm not sure. So, uh, yeah, just keep adding 3D. Then, can add lines. Any corners at all. Right in there. So. Okay, I had to stop the video and uh, get a new shirt because I spilled ink all over the other one. Not good. But, so I finished the 3D off camera. So, as you can see, all the 3D is going towards a point in there. Kind of. So, right now, you have kind of your basic piece. Um, I will do in another tutorial, which I will upload right after this one, um, how to make it brighter and add different things to it that just complete and make it look a lot more finished. So right now though, you just have a basic piece. Um, so look out for the next tutorial. Um, yeah, rate, comment, subscribe.